Sometimes you will need to access sensitive data such as password or API keys to configure managed hosts or to access a particular service. Normally, this information could be stored as plain text in inventory variables or other Ansible files. However, this is not a best practice and this information should be encrypted with a particular tool. For the purposes of this, Ansible includes the Ansible Vault, which is a command line tool that gives you the functionality of encrypting files in order to store passwords and sensitive data. So the Ansible Vault can be used in command line as we use Ansible, other Ansible commands and you can perform many actions with this. For example, let's say we want to create a new Ansible Vault file. We will type Ansible Vault create and we will create our YAML file which will contain secrets. In my case, it's secret.yaml. As you can see, a password will be required in order to create this vault and I will give at input password. And inside this Ansible vault, I can input some passwords. For example, let's say I will have an API which contains sensitive data like that. I will go and save this vault as I would do with Vim. And now I have an encrypted file called secret.yaml. If I try to cut this file, you will see that I get an encrypted output and I am not aware of the actual value of this secret.yaml. You can also create an Ansible Vault uh, without using the password prompt that appears here. And you can do that by creating a file. Let's call it, for example, vault pass and echoing the password of this file. So we can now see that the vault pass file that has been created under my current directory has only the value password on it. As a result, I can go and create a new Ansible vault let's call it secret2 and I can use vault password file equal and I should use the vault pass file as you can see here and if I create if I create this let's call it secret3 and if I create this un Ansible vault you will see that no password will be required and the password that we stored in the file will be used. Let's say, for example, another password and we put the, the value one to six on it. So currently in my working directory, I have the secret three Ansible Vault, which I created here, which has been created with the vault pass file and also the secret YAML file which has the same password and I can view it using the view command. So for example, in order to view this file, I would do Ansible vault view and I would select my Ansible vault which I want to see and the password will be required in order to do that. I input password and as you can see, I the value API is listed with the appropriate value on it. So in order to edit an existing password, I have to use in the command line edit and I must give again the input of the file. So for example, I will put another value here, API2 with a value API2. And I can save this Ansible Vault and now includes the, the second secret that I added. 
if I want to encrypt a file that's not already encrypted, for example, I will go and create that vault. Let's call it, for example, secretvault.yaml. And I will put a username and a value on it. And I can go with Ansible Vault and encrypt this existing file that is not encrypted. This is usually an exam exercise. So I will encrypt this file with a new password. Let's say password again. So if I cut now this file, we will see that it's encrypted. I can decrypt the same way I encrypted a file using decrypt and I must again give the input password. So if we cut again the file, we will see that we can now get the values of it. So this is also an exercise that will you may notice in the exam. Let's see now how we can use this Ansible Vault on our playbooks. In order to use it, I have created already a new playbook that includes as variable files the secret.yaml which is under my current directory. If you had this secret.yaml in a different folder, you should reference the correct location of this YAML file. And, uh, and I'm using the debug module in order to print a variable. As you can see, you use the Ansible Vault values as any other variables on Ansible. So I will use the double curly brackets in order to see the value. If I save this file, I will go and run my playbook. And in order to run correctly, I should put as input vault ID prompt so that I get requested for the vault password. When I input this password correctly, we will see that we will get the output of this vault and we got the actual value that was encrypted inside this vault. You can also use the Ansible variable Ansible playbook command using uh, using the the password of it without the prompt just by adding vault password file as a parameter and you should indicate where this file is located in my case this is the file in which the password is saved and if i give it correctly then you will see that again the playbook will run this is also a task that is requested in the example